My name is Dumbfounded, government name Jonathan Park, and uh, I co-wrote Run DMZ with Jackson Adams. In the script, we have this mom and pop's uh, barbecue joint. We got this huge chain that's kind of moving in and taking over, like they're just opening up in different places, just buying out a lot of the locations in South Koreatown. We're stubborn about it. We refuse to kind of sell the place, which is kind of like the general stubbornness of, of Koreans. Working with John in, in this web series has, has honestly broadened my horizons in a, in a huge way. And it's the first time that I've able to, been able to write and direct something that is, in a lot of ways, just a, a completely outside my my wheelhouse. So what are what are if any are there differences between the real John and the character? The real John wears his beanie more. You know, the act the character John likes to style his hair. As far as personalities go, you know, they both are similar, like I'm very family oriented, you know what I'm saying? I love my family. So does the character. So it's really solely it's really based off of me except professions are different. But I think the passion and the heart is all the same. So you can kind of like ramble and kind of like you know, just just put on your put on your acting cap and start thinking about like the this series Run DMZ. We have um, a, a pretty big cast of characters actually. There's John's uh, love interest who's named Apple. She is a pretty confident girl who in a lot of ways motivates John to go on this whole journey in the first place. There's a characteristic about Apple that is based off of like a Koreatown girl. I think you should go after him. Plus, street justice is kind of sexy, Travis Bickle. Are they going to hit on you as much as they do in the episode? I think they're hitting on me more than they do in the episode. <laughs> When I was 15, they said get on that real shit Stop rapping about the moon, there ain't no room for that nail shit They just assume that I'm in my room with posters of galaxies And that's why I'm closer to fantasy Nah, brother, it wasn't spaceships I heard Only screams of her, her Meaning my mother, father was slurring his words So when I wrote words like space, it's metaphor for safe And stars are better place